a voice keeps on calling me down the road that's where I'll always be every stop I make I make a new friend can't stay for long just turn around and I'm gone again maybe tomorrow I'll want to settle down until tomorrow I'll just keep moving on so if you want to join me Six the dog. Stay in your mark, Maurice. We'll do a pickup. Brian! All right, I'm going. Let's go, dog. Please, double, double. Time, time. Please, please. What are you, Brian? An assistant director or a neighborhood cop? When I say off the set, I mean off the set! Okay. Come on, dog. Please, do me a favor. <laughs> Well, I think you improved the scene. Well, not that I'd know. I'm new to this business myself. It's a crazy world filming. Steve, you want to come out here a minute? Wish me luck, kid. OK, Brian, dog's out the set. Max, look at it. It's here. It's here. Just play it cool, Al. We waited a long time for this. Our fortunes are made if we're just a little patient. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Jerry, I absolutely refuse to endanger my health for the sake of this flea bag production. I, I have to go to my dressing room. I need more antihistamine. Maurice, we don't have the time. The producer's about to pull a plug in this picture as it is. <laughs> don't blame me. Blame Mother Nature. And it's just the ragweed. I'm allergic to dogs. Which is one of the reasons I told my agent I no longer intend to perform in Shakespeare in the Park. Okay, let's go. Props, grips. Let's get up to the studio on the double. The van's on its way. Come on. This is a location, not a vacation. Let's go. Oh, don't get too anxious now. Just take your time, just like we always do. Well, what if it's gone? What if something happened to it? Take it easy. Brian! The dog is on my set again. Doesn't look like anybody's touched it. <laughs> Someone's here. It's just the talent. He's in the studio next door. Come on. And there it is. And in the pillow, matey, lies our treasure. <laughs> you are really weird, Al. <laughs> oh, God, what am I doing here? I call it a dressing room. Look at it. What is it? It's a barn! Oh, thank God for these pills. Oh, look at me. I'm shaking. Look. Guys. Oh. I said it! Better have some more of these. Do not exceed recommended dosage. 
Oh, adults one day. Well, I'm not an adult, I'm an actor. When will they realize that? How much more of this can a man take? <laughs> what are you doing here? They sent you to spy on me, have they? Well, it's none of their business, but I do. <laughs> What are you doing? What, 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 are you, what, are, what are you doing? Come back! <laughs> Come back! If I cut it along the seam, nobody will ever notice, even in a close-up. How'd that dog get out? Stop me! Straighten it up, put it back, put it back! Stop! Stop! Ah, gentlemen. Readying the set for the final scene, what? What a pity to burn such a fine piece of furniture. No, we're going to burn it? Oh, yes. Didn't he tell you? No, he didn't tell me either. The coffee girl told me. Uh, well, uh, come on, Al. We better get back to the set. Yeah, but the good... We'll finish here later. Come on. We'll see you later, pal. Yes, yes. Uh, uh... <laughs> Oh, it's you. I have nothing against you personally, you know. I'm just used to better treatment. Yes. What? Oh, thank you very much. That's very kind of you. That's the first bit of consideration I've had on this set. Well, I'll put that to good use. Hey, yes, I am a little bit of an odd, do I not? Yes, 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 yes. The rest is... Ah, silence. Okay. But yes, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And good night. Maurice? Mr. Driscoll, you want it on the set, please? Maurice? Are you in here, Maurice? So you come up here, boy. What are you up to? What is it? Dead to the world. Maurice. Mr. Driscoll. Hey, Maurice. This is almost empty. Well, he's not going anywhere. Not for an hour or two. I guess this is my big chance, huh, pal? But I better move fast, right? Good night, sweet prince. blankets behind the flat. Come on. When did you become such a humanitarian? He's only an actor. Come on. Then let's get that pillow and get out of here. Come on. 
It's gone. That stand-in. He must have taken it. That's why he was running. He's got it, Max. He's got it after all our work. I mean, what are we going to do now? We go back to the set, and we wait for just the right moment to ambush our friend, the Count. OK. It's about time. Well, well, you know, it, <coughs> your voice doesn't sound too good. Oh, no. Well, that's OK. You don't have to talk in this scene. Maurice, this is the new ending. Mm. Instead of the stake through the heart bit. Mm -hmm. You're trying to get back to your crypt before sunup. Mm -hmm. You get back to the castle. Mm -hmm. and you find your enemies have burned your coffin. Mm. You run outside again. Mm -hmm. You're trapped. The sun comes up. And you disappear in a cloud of smoke. Ah. Nothing left but your cross. <laughs> You're not sneezing again, are you? No, 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 no. OK. Now we'll shoot you surrounded by a cloud of smoke. Uh -huh. Then cut. Hmm. You step out. Uh -huh. We put the cross on the step. We start the cameras rolling again. The cloud of smoke clears. You're gone. Ma. You know, usual stuff. Mm. OK, go for it. All right. Mm. Al, I just had a really bright idea. Okay. Come on. Hey, quiet, everybody. Quiet, everybody. Turn over. Hey, you got that? Slate 369, take one. Okay. Lots of smoke. Rank it up. Action. Ah, 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 ah. Effect in one shot. I don't know how he did that, but it was fantastic. Okay, okay. And cut! Print it! Maurice! That makes up for all the waiting! Nice clean exit, Maurice! Ryan! Yeah. Where's Maurice? I don't know. I thought you were the director. Where is it? What? The pillow. What are you talking about? What would I want with a pillow? Forget the acting, man, or we're gonna make you forget it. Max! Where'd he go? This way! I'm sure he went this way. You just hit the jackpot. <laughs> the cross of yours is up. I never thought I'd get my hands on it. If he got back to the set, we're sunk.
pillow must be around the studio somewhere. It must have fallen out and gotten kicked to one side or something. Well, what do we do if somebody finds it before we do? They're going to think it's a pillow. They're not going to know what's inside it. This will keep him quiet in case he wakes up before we get back. <laughs> and this will keep him from knowing where he is. Get that cape in. Hey, what do we do with him? We lose him just before we leave the country, when we're sure we're safe. All right. Go props. Sorry, Jerry. Just doing a few last-minute touch-ups. Touch-ups, Jerry. Yeah. <laughs> wardrobe. Where is wardrobe? You call this aged? Do it again. Uh, oh, ah, Jerry. Uh, there you are. Uh, I am. Uh, Maurice. Maurice. Congratulations on your disappearance out there. <laughs> you gotta. You gotta tell me how you did that sometime. Brian. Shut up. I don't know. Ah, pillow belongs in coffin. For continuity. It was always there in Mexico. Even the dog knows that. Okay, got it. No problem. Thank you, Maurice, and thank you very much, dog. But you know, I really think you ought to just... And you have. Okay, let's get these lights focused. Max, let's fly in some dust, please. Al, if you don't mind, let's get back to work. We're not on holiday. Thank you very much, sir. I mean, this place is supposed to be... 800 years old, for heaven's sake! Not too late. Both under arrest. 
What's all this about being under arrest? He's too in possession of an antique Spanish cross he smuggled in from Mexico. And I can prove it. Well, get on with it. We're still rolling. There's not much film left. Ugh. It's gone. Now where is it? That's the craziest thing I ever heard. You're a federal agent pretending to be an actor on the trail of those two guys? Why don't the writers give us stories like that? I knew somebody from the film company stole the cross in Mexico, but I didn't know who. It was the dog who figured that out. And on top of it all, you played the disappearance scene for Maurice. He did? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this afternoon's adventures put me in mind of a time I was on tour with Comedy of Errors, and one of the twins got ill. So at the top of the second act, well, you know the scene, well, the uh, understudy... Maurice, kind of... I believe your ride is ready. Uh, why don't you save it for the rap party? You're right. It deserves a much bigger audience. <laughs> well, all's well, dead well, what? <laughs> so that's a pretty bright dog. You know, I'm negotiating for a werewolf movie, and you'd be perfect for it. Well, so would you be, for that matter. Sorry, I've got a career. No, listen, let's talk about it. Maybe you could get a leave of absence. Hmm? Tick, 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 tick. Brian, let's go. Let's get the last shot in the can and go home. Okay, everybody, let's make some movies here, please. Hey, fella, wait. There's no need for you to turn down stardom. Or do you have a career, too? I get it. You and Garbo, you both want to be alone. Well, so long, fella. I'll uh, see you in the movies. There's a voice that keeps on calling me Down the road, that's where I'll always be Every stop I make, I make a new friend Can't stay for long, just turn around and I'm gone again Maybe tomorrow I'll want to settle down Until tomorrow I'll just keep moving on Until tomorrow the whole world is my home 